what were your overall reflections of the game and, and what is your view of the two incidents probably that shaped it, the sending off and the disallowed goal? Uh, so it could be a yellow card, it was or could be a red card, it depends on the decision of the boss, the referee, and uh, gold is allowed. Uh, I didn't see it, but imagine the line set is offside. The goal we can see in Brighton, it was offside, and uh, they continue, they score a goal. So, um, listen, we didn't lose for that. So, uh, we were not able to win the game. We we conceded our first goal, and after we were really well in the in the first half, and uh, I would say the 25, 30 minutes, the second one, and uh, and after of course play 45 minutes, 10 against 11, uh, a team like us, like uh, we need the process and do everything right, but the people show the players show character and uh, yeah, but unfortunately they went wrong in many many things and and you lose the game. Did you did you put enough threat on the um, Crystal Palace goal in the first half when it was eleven versus eleven? You had had a lot of possession, but I don't know how much threat you you put on their goal. Well, we, we conceded the goal early on, but so how many chances they had? They had the goal and no more. And uh, yeah, when they defend ten, it's quite similar to the last season when Crystal Palace came here. We were at Hudson, like we lost one game one year and we drawn another one. It's the same process. Take time to to take the rhythm because the keeper all the time take take the momentum. Long balls with Ayub and Teker or Saha, they are good keeping the ball, link with them, and they have quality and they defend really well. They defend really well with uh, solidarity and and defend the gaps and block the shoots. And um, we cannot say that we have many, but we have enough chances in the first half to to score. And after the second one with 10 against 11 is more difficult. We scored a goal for nothing was disallowed it. And and even Rodi had the one or two chances to score more. And at the end for the contra-attacks, everything can happen. Thank you, Simon. We've got a question from Alessandro Schiavone. I can't hear what you're saying, Si, but I'll jump in because I can't hear anybody else starting either. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. Hi, Pep. Obviously, with the 10 men today, it was it was difficult. Um, how do you explain this season? Sometimes the team scores five or six goals. Sometimes they don't score any. From your point of view, how do you explain that? What's the answer? I don't know. <laughs> I would like to know the answer. I don't know. So we have to do is create, create the chances. Like even West Ham, we create it and being there to create it. So, and and that's all. So insist, insist, and create good and and do it well. So even with 10, 10 against eleven, we create more chances than them, or we are there, being so difficult that it is. You know, they play three, the top strikers, they keep the ball, link with them, and and they defend really well. Yeah, in some of those games where you've not scored, obviously PSG, I think it was a good overall City performance. Southampton, maybe not so much. Today, not sure. But how would you rate the, the creation of chances in those games, if you can if you can think back to them? Well, PSG created enough to, to score. Southampton and maybe today with 10 against 11 more difficult. Uh, but it's not easy, always it was. When 10 players in that happen, you have to be solid behind, be patient, no concede much. And after the game, the goal is coming. And, and when we can break the result, half is easier. Uh, today was completely opposite. It's quite similar to the, the Crystal Palace, the, the seasons before. Like uh, well, one set piece, they score a goal, and after they defend well, and it's difficult to, to, to defend because they've had a good structure defensive, the central defender with three midfield players there defending, winning duels and blocks and, and everything. And after, use the contract like with Saha, with the people, fast players that they have. It always had been difficult for us uh, against them. Uh, and it was a little bit tougher for, for that reason. Thank you, Sam. Alessandro Schiavone, could you ask your question now? Hello, Pep. Um, what are the biggest differences that you notice between this Crystal Palace side under Vieira and the old one under Ray Hodgson? I mean, is there an identity, is there a different way of playing that you notice? And what do you think of Vieira's work so far? Well, defensively, quite similar. Uh, uh, they want to try to to 
yeah, what I saw uh, build up today was more long balls. When they keep the ball and they take the ball, they can play, they want to play. And they have a good players. A good, uh, really, I said to the team, right after Brighton victory when we won, so prepare mentally already, not wait the day, the day of the game against Crystal Palace because it will be real, real tough game. Uh, to play because I, I saw the game and play against Brighton at home and Arsenal away. So I know perfectly how difficult they are and, um, and they show it today.